consecutive start as the center of that offensive front for Georgia. There's the pass. There's Brock Bowers. There's a first down and a bunch more. Bowers bowls his way down to the 41. In the flat, this is something that you could have with the tight end. Kind of fakes the block. A little bit of a keeper to the outside. And they turn. They mark it right at the 40. First down, Georgia. Carson Beck whips it out in the flat. Got it to Dominic Lovett. And love it. 29 game winning streak. We're here to attack. When you got a gunslinger that's throwing the ball as well as this guy, you might as well let it. Got into Alabama territory to the 46. Back to back first downs. And now Dejon Edwards. Cartwheels back. Who's on the field? Bowers that slot to the top. It's going to be a screen out to Edwards. And Edwards going to be a little bit short. Number one in the country in third down conversion. Straight ahead. And the quarterback keep. And the, the group that is more likely to have long draw. Oh, they keep motioning people around. The play fake, a little stumble by Beck. Throws it on the run and throws a dart to a 15-yard pickup to the 20. That's McConkey in motion. And that's Kendall Milton. And Milton got about three. Kendall Milton with a hesitation and then explosion. Touchdown, Georgia. Ratledge number 16. I watch this block. Watch him open up the linebacker blitz. Turns him out and pushes him six yards out of the hole. Long way to go. They lead 7 0. And this time, Bowers. Nice job. Lost the three for Bowers. Second down at 13. Back of the 10. Carson back near his own goal line. Look out. Now in his own end zone, he's got to get rid of it. And it is caught by McConkey. I don't think so. You can always tell by the other team's bench when they start signaling. They get that eye look right there. They're all safe. Especially when it's uh, Ed, uh, Nick Saban going like that. Exactly. <laughs> but the Alabama... Oh, Dallas Turner. They'll be coming. Beck, though, goes deep down the middle. Almost intercepted. It was intended. I think this is going to Brock Bowers right here. Watch Malachi Moore. Excuse me. I think it's Caleb Downs, number two, that is man to man on this play. Good coverage. And that ball sailed just a bit. Yep. Yep. Just good hand fighting right there. You got to let that go. More points. Right now, Alabama's trailing by four with 3.43 to go, first quarter. And Deshaun Edwards for about five. Stuck the point of attack that time. That's exactly the way Alabama went. Running right at you. Stuff them. Peek around them. Shed the blocker if you can, but make a pop. The spot. They're down at two. Run blitz. And it pays off. Well, I'll tell you. Number two is going to come up and hit it full speed. Nowhere to go. There he is. Turns it back into all the, the... shift sides. Lad McConkey in motion. From the 25, the toss sweep to Kendall Milton. Got about five before. They are going to keep it on the ground. Again, Milton going to be a couple yards shy. Nice job to field. Let's see if it's a three and out, if they can convert. Dejan will try to do it and does. Got about four on the... In honoring his fallen teammate, Evan Willock. This time the push goes right up the middle. Led right behind. Number... He's lined up in line as a tight end. Carson back and complete. Got it to Marcus. Ruff. He looks right. He looks left. He clutches it a couple times. Left, left, right. Find it, find it, find it. And he does. Boy. Good, good protection, play. but a good job by a quarterback coming probably to his third target. On the Arian Smith in motion for Georgia. Beck comes near side. This time, another nice catch. This one by Dylan Beck. But one of the things that has helped Georgia during that time when he was out is the emergence like guys like Dylan Bell. Yeah. They found more go-to play. Alabama at the 36 of the second down and four. Blitz coming. Dejon Edwards trying to follow his blockers and spins his way for a Georgia first down. Rush blitz this time, and they pick it up on the go. Good job of cutting that off. 
making the play. When those guys are coming full speed like that, last time it was Tate Ratledge that got the job. Van Brand pulled out from his center spot, got a good block as well. And Georgia, Georgia touchdown today. Bell in motion. Beck rolls one way and now goes deep. Incomplete. One side to the other. Watch, he just lays off, just looks at the quarterback. Quarterback will never see that guy come in the post the other way, and he falls back on it. He thought he had it, what, six inches away? Yep. Kool-Aid got his hands on it, tipped it away. Hockey will settle in after being in motion, and he'll be in motion again. On the bootleg, the throws to Delt, the other tight end. I shouldn't call it the other tight end. It's just that when you got it. Back in trouble. He's going to get the first down and dives forward. Down in like six, he finds a way to get a first and I down. I brought up the name of Drew Brees, who used to do it to him at Purdue when he was at Michigan State. As a passing quarterback, you don't need to run for 100 yards, but these key first pass for Georgia as they moved it into the red zone at the 19 yard line. Kendall Milton, nothing doing that time. Nice job by Deontay Lost. Milton trying to get wide. Tripped yeah. up for a loss. The same guy. Practice on this play. He recognizes it. He runs it down. Two outstanding plays made by the inside linebackers. No doubt. Rattles. Georgia's got to get all the way to the nine yard line to pick up a first down. Back. Here comes the heat. Down he goes. They get. Their quarterback is there. It's third down. What can you do from the edge? And he does something from the receiver group for Carson Beck from the 25. He's going to throw short. Dejon Edwards out of the backfield. He dives across the 30 to the line of scrimmage. He was. Beck. It can't be McConkey. And now Beck's just going to hit the deck. Then it was field goal, touchdown, touchdown. Now let's see if Georgia can come up with an early third quarter answer. Screen pass to Brock Bowers. And brought down after a short game. You know him as well as I do. It's Brock is playing. He does not look as quick as no. he normally does. Uh -huh. Sear side on second down and seven. Ajon Edwards try to get wide. Finally did late. And then knocked his own man, Marcus. This is the story of Dijon Edwards all year against everybody. Everybody misjudges the way he runs and his speed. He looks like he's cruising. Everyone takes the wrong angle, and he runs through the... McConkie down to the bottom of your screen. Let's see if he will be any kind of factor in this second half. Carson Beck throws out. There's a Jack Saints. Maybe a two-yard game. Yeah, that was... That's Bowers on the move. Beck. Throws right side, but it's going to be Rosemary Jack Saint. And oh boy, at the last second, he opened. Third down. Third and third and one. Yep. ATT pylon cam shows that he struggled and struggled and struggled and just still a yard shy. Very good route again. Let's see if it's Dejon Edwards' time or it's a quarterback sneak. It's a pitch. Edwards. And Great penetration by Alabama. They tackle. They will play the run. Watch him play the run. He's got Oscar Delp, a tight end in his face. He takes it on and makes the play. That's Alabama defense right there. You love it when your corners will play. Powers in motion and Kendall Milton in the backfield, but it's back to throw on first down. He's going to air it out long. And Arian Smith has got it at the 20. A little bit of motion, and boom, there he goes right down the middle, matches up against the safety. Beautiful formation, nice call, and Mike Bobo, when Carson Beck asked, said, I got something for you. Here Arian Smith, deep. the fastest guy on the Georgia team, a 51-yard. Here's a toss. Kendall Milton almost got face mask. And Milton's going, hey, he got my face mask. How about a call? And he's right. After kind of hurting his hip on that tackle. And it's second down and seven for Georgia. Play action. Back to the end zone. Not quite. On the field, NFL-ish. That's what you do. You go after. Trey Amos is on the field. Matching up. They both turn around. Boy, that is really good phase and good work by Amos that time. No doubt. Now it makes it third down. It's 
Dominique Lovett settles in in the slot. Carson Beck looks one way, in trouble. Throws on the run, into traffic, right. almost picked off. Fortunate Bowers goes inside on the play, and then when he sees his corner quarterback run to the outside, oh, nice undercut by Story on this play. Stays in phase, looks at the quarterback, and then undercuts. The, Should have had it. You got to keep catch. But it's maybe very uncomfortable. First down, Georgia, from the six-yard line. And still... The six-yard line, maybe the five in the shotgun from the goal line, an empty backfield. Back out to Lad McConkie. Got it to maybe close. Tresman Marshall, one of his own teammates from Athens, made the tackle. And, and one guy's hurt catching the ball. The other guy's hurt blocking for the guy who's hurt. Yep. And he got spilled on. Back into some traffic and he tucked it in there beautiful those emerging players became more of a go-to guy with the injuries outside good coverage terry and iron was all over him but the ball is thrown low and accurately and that's the 15 now rosalie jack saint will come in and join the group in tight they're going to come with the end around and the ball is out i think georgia no out. fancy ball handling come around fake Watch when he hands it off. He just pretends like he's got it already. They didn't. And then it looked momentarily like Fairchild had covered it right there, but no. Dresman Marshall, the former dog. Down to the left side. Carson Beck. Tough catch for Milton. And he got a short gain out of it. Okay. Corner blitz. Coming, crossing route, and that's going to be a first down to Dominique Lovett, and it's going to bring our third. Carson back in trouble, runs into his own lineman and goes down. Alabama pass rush to flush Beck out of the pocket and push inside. Nobody wide open, maybe a check down, but you know Carson had his eyes deep downfield when he felt that pressure to evacuate the pocket. Play fake to Edwards. Down the middle and into some traffic. That Brock Bowers is not 100%. Might it be better for this Georgia team to get their healthy players on the field? You take your great guys out of the game, though. Absolutely. Beck. Far sideline. Almost picked off. And a good job by... Amos to the outside. Good redirection of the receiver. Looks back oh. and could have picked it up. You're right. If Dylan Bell didn't help him play defense, but how about that snap? That play. Think of the stakes. Think of the pressure in this game. At the Alabama 35, Kendall Milton for five. Still don't have to be in. Trying to find a hole somewhere is Milton. He pulls it. He fires it. Back shoulder incomplete, but a penalty marker down. And the automatic goes down. Hand fighting all the way down the play, but it's a back shoulder throw. And that's when he grabs him and has his hand left. Beck throws. McConkey at the one. A slant type play against Malachi Moore. Play action pass. Nobody defend. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Go fast. And with the extra point, if on, let's get up there. And he knew it was his number, and he scored. The punt reach. Georgia's got all their timeouts left, but time is of the essence. 5.47 to go. Carson Beck. Little middle screen to the tight end, Brock Bowers, and he's close to us in a slot on the right-hand side on second, and a yard. Beck. Looking. Georgia. Dejon Edwards in the backfield will get the carry. I don't know. I don't think oh, so. No, he didn't. Remember the, down. And, and again, without the first down, the clock continues to run. Just too much penetration. This up. Edwards. This time he's got it, and he comes out the back end. And all the way to the... Let's just block it better. Everybody gets challenged, and this time Van Pran, the center, gets his man and moves him out. First down at the 45. Now Beck back to the air. 
Maybe. Oh, and a face uh -oh. mask and a pretty good. You're one of those pass rushers. You try to grab the shoulder pad and you end up with a 15 yard gain. It's Jaheim Otis, not to correct oh, was it? here, but I'm sorry. Yeah, it was yep. 91. Coming off the edge. Yep. Against it right now with four and a half minutes to go and down 10. Back. Down the middle. Got it. Complete. Makai Mew. Receivers that Georgia, seven different receivers have caught more than 20 passes for this team this year. Hurry up as they got it to the 26 yard line. Back, back to work. Carson fires in the middle. Got it. Complete. Brock Bowers. One. Plenty of room off the line. Oh, what a catch. And he seven. For a 20 yard pickup. Kendall Milton trying to battle back. Did. Still going. To the one yard line. Vex got one touchdown today. They spun him, didn't they? Yep, inside. Raswell kind of spun yep, him around. A little hip toss right here. Kendall Milton. Back and in. Did he get there? No. He knows how valuable time is right at this point in the game. Boy, they filled that hole beautifully. He gets under center as Bowers splits out as the only receiver. Second man through is Kendall Milton for the touchdown. They had their heavy offense in there. That two for two on fourth downs today. None bigger than this one. I think that's Makai Morris, number 56 at fullback. That used to be Jalen Carter back in that fullback spot. But he takes it on and gets him into the end zone.